4,253 Americans have died in the Iraq War. More than 30,000 have been wounded. The war's sting has been felt in New England. iCasualties.org puts the number of Massachusetts war fatalities at 64, Connecticut 30, Maine 23, New Hampshire 22, Vermont 20, and Rhode Island 12. Families of those killed while fighting in Iraq have plenty to say about the president's plan. Eddie CN Scott Yunt is in Boston tonight with reaction from two Massachusetts families that know all too well the cost of war. Scott? Well, R.D. and Beth, the two fathers that I spoke to today, both lost their sons in Iraq, one a Marine, the other a uh, soldier, one in 2004, the other in 2007. Both men say it's high time we were out of Iraq. But both men also worry about the instability that may be left behind. The responsible removal of our combat brigades from Iraq. President Obama's words resonate with the families of those lost in Iraq. This is over. Thank God we got a new administration. We start listening to what they say, and I like it. I like it very much. Carlos Arredondo lost his son Alex in 2004. He was 20 years old. Since then, his very public display of grief has been channeled into opposing the war and at the same time supporting the troops and their families. I want people to really see because if they don't see, they don't feel. And I want, to, I want them to understand, you know what I mean, the, the cost of war and what so many families going through as we're speaking right now. He makes sure of it. He is impossible to miss. A Costa Rican immigrant. Arredondo is proud of his relatively new citizenship. He voted for the first time in the recent presidential election. As a citizen of this country, I tried to stand up and make him uh, to be correct because uh, I don't want my son to die in vain. Another Gold Star father who is much more private about his grief is Professor Andrew Basevich of Boston University. A career military man, he graduated from West Point. His son Andrew was killed in Iraq in 2008. And seven. And while he's private about that, he's very vocal about the war. And it's long past time for us to end our involvement there. Basevich served 23 years in the Army and has written extensively on the Bush Doctrine and the Iraq War. He believes that the U.S. invasion and occupation has worsened the situation in the Middle East. It has uh, increased the level of instability. It has enhanced the uh, power and influence of Iran. Uh, and it has increased anti-Americanism, inflamed anti-Americanism. Basevich won't speak about his own grief in losing his son, but he does speak to the cost of war in lives and a trillion dollars. The money, of course, is almost incidental uh, if we think in terms of the number of soldiers who've lost their lives and those that have been wounded. The country has paid a heavy, heavy, heavy price uh, for this war. Uh, for me personally, I find it very difficult uh, to make an argument that says that the price we've paid is anywhere uh, 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 met by what we've gained. Now, as you heard, both men clearly have a lot of questions about the war in Iraq, but both men tell us that they are fiercely proud of their sons and their service. R.D.? Scott, the president says he's bringing the troops back from Iraq, but he is adding troops to the effort in Afghanistan. Did either man tonight express misgivings about that? Well, that's interesting that you should ask that because both men did express misgivings about that, both Carlos Arredondo and Andrew Basevich. Basevich is very worried that the trouble that we will be leaving behind in Iraq is trouble that will be starting, redoubling our efforts in uh, Afghanistan. He's afraid that the president may be biting off more than he can chew, but he is, again, happy to see that the troops are being drawn down from Iraq, as is uh, Mr. Arredondo. Scott Young tonight in Boston. Beth?